I've got the OnePlus 7 Pro here and today I'm going to show you how to install TWRP as your custom recovery on both the OnePlus 7 Pro as well as the OnePlus 7. Now before we be can begin this tutorial you're going to need to know that you need to have the bootloader for this device unlocked. If you have not done that yet, then look in the video description for anybody who's watching this on YouTube, as I'll have a link to the full tutorial. And in that full tutorial, not only will I have links for how to unlock the bootloader, but I'll also have step-by-step -step instructions for all of the small technical things, such as booting the OnePlus 7 Pro into fast boot mode and things like that. So if you're confused about any individual step of this video, refer to the full tutorial on my website as that will be able I'll, I will be able to walk you through that in more detail there. Now, once you have the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 7 Pro's bootloader unlocked, we're going to need to download TWRP from the main official TWRP website and I'll have a link to that in the uh, full tutorial again on my website and then we are going to boot this smartphone into fast boot mode and there are a number of ways to boot the device into fast boot mode also known as bootloader mode as you can see here I have the advanced reboot toggle enabled from developer options but we can manually do it by holding the volume, the power and volume down buttons during boot. Again, this is all explained in on my website. So we're just going to boot over into fast boot mode. And along with downloading and having the TWRP files on your computer, you're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed as well, which you probably already have since the bootloader has to be unlocked. But maybe you bought this device from somebody who had unlocked it previously, whatever the case may be. So now that we are in Fastboot mode, we can connect our smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. And then we are going to open up a command prompt or a Windows PowerShell in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So as you can see here, we have our ADB and Fastboot tools folder. And I have copied the TWRP image file into this folder. And I have renamed it to TWRP.IMG. So make sure the name is twrp.img and make sure it is in the same folder as our fastboot and ADB tools are in. And from here we're going to hold shift and right click to open up a Windows PowerShell right in this folder. And you can also do this with command prompt if you have minimal ADB and fastboot tools, you can simply double click on the desktop shortcut and it'll open up a command prompt in our ADB and fastboot tools folder. So it's the same thing, it doesn't matter which method you go with. And we are going to type out the command fastboot space flash space boot space TWRP. So this command we are using the fastboot program to flash aka install the TWRP image file into our boot image. We're going to press enter on the keyboard. It's going to send that image file to the boot image. It doesn't matter if it's boot A or boot B. And then it's going to write that image 
Once that's done, you should not get any errors. You should get two OK messages. And with that done, we are going to go back to our OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro to finish up this install. So now that we have issued that fastboot command, we are still in fastboot mode and we're going to be using the volume up or volume down button, it doesn't matter, until we highlight and select the recovery mode option. Once that option is selected, we're going to be pressing the power button to select that highlighted option. And this is going to boot us from fast boot mode, aka bootloader mode, into recovery mode, which, as you just saw, we replaced with TWRP. So we're here in recovery mode, which is TWRP. Now, whenever you download TWRP, you're actually downloading, downloading two files. You're downloading an image file, which we just flashed, and you're downloading a zip file. Now, once we have booted into TWRP, this is going to be where we copy the zip file from our computer to the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 7 Pro. Since we still have our USB cable connected, we're just going to copy that zip file over. Once that is done, we can tap on install. And this is probably where it's going to take you by default. So you're going to want to browse to wherever you copied that zip file to. You may have just copied it to the root folder, so you may see it down here at the bottom. You may have created a new folder specifically for it and put it in there. Me, personally, I just put it in the download folder just to keep things organized and keep everything in there. So you can see we have the TWRP installer for our specific device. We're going to tap on that zip file and we are going to swipe the white arrows at the bottom of the screen to the right to begin the installation. So what we have done is we have flashed TWRP to what we saw in PowerShell, the A partition. Now the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro comes with A and the A and B partition scheme, meaning that to fully install TWRP, we also need to get it installed to the B partition which is why we booted into recovery mode, which was TWRP, and why we flashed that zip file. Flashing that zip file is installing the boot image patcher on slot A, as well as slot B. So it turns out that the way TWRP is installed on the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro that it includes a specific version of the kernel. That means if you install TWRP on your OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro and boot directly into Oxygen OS, then your Wi-Fi and your cellular signal service is not going to work. Now there is a very complicated way of fixing this using the stock kernel. And I may look into creating a tutorial specifically for that in the future if there is a demand for it. Instead there is a much easier workaround and that is simply by installing a custom kernel after you have installed TWRP. So I'm going to have this custom kernel linked in the full tutorial as well. Once you download that, just copy it over to the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, I'm going to be referring people to the Elemental X kernel, as I'm familiar with that one, and I know that it will get updated throughout the years. 
So once you have downloaded, it's free. It's just a zip file that you download. Once it's downloaded, again, put it on the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 7 Pro. And then we're going to tap on install. Tap on the zip file for the custom kernel we're going to install. It doesn't have to be Elemental X. It can be any of the other custom kernels that are included in XDA's developmental uh, form. Just make your, I'm sure that you're getting a kernel for the type of Android version you're using. Meaning, if you're using Lineage OS or a custom ROM based on AOSP, make sure that you are downloading a version or a custom kernel for that. So Elemental X typically has an Oxygen OS version of the kernel as well as a Lineage OS slash AOSP version. Since we are currently running Oxygen OS, we are going to be downloading the OOS version of Elemental X. So again, we're just going to install this custom kernel by tapping on it swiping the white arrows to the right to begin the ins the installation you can see it's very easy to install very straightforward it is only going to take a couple of seconds and then we are going to get the reboot system button down here at the bottom and that's going to allow us to reboot back up into android Now again, we were able to boot up into Android before, but due to the kernel issue, also known as the boot.img file issue, that was making it to where I could not connect to Wi-Fi and I could not get any cellular signal until I installed that custom kernel. So that is the proper way of installing TWRP as the custom kernel on the OnePlus 7 as well as the OnePlus 7 Pro.